you have likely heard about pivot tables. Many people dread pivot tables. Whenever they hear the word pivot table, they freak out. In this lecture, I will show you how you can easily use pivot tables. I will use an example from marketing data that'll allow you to put pivot tables in context. In a nutshell, pivot table is a different way of viewing your data. It rearranges, or you can call it pivots, the data in a way that allows you to summarize the data and then analyze it. So let's dive in and take a look at how pivot tables work. Here in Excel, I have some campaign data, nicely arranged in rows and columns. So you got the campaign name, the source where the campaign was running, the medium, that is how you paid for the campaign, whether it was CPM, which is cost per thousand impressions, or by CPC, which is cost per click. And then what was the total cost of this campaign for that particular source and medium, and how many clicks we got for that, and what was the effective cost per click, which is total cost divided by number of clicks. You could have multiple other columns as well, depending on what kind of data you're collecting. In order to make sense of this data, you have to analyze it. The real power of collecting marketing data is the analysis that comes out of it. In order to do that, you can use pivot tables. They come in very handy and allow you to, as I mentioned before, summarize and analyze the data. So how are the pivot tables created? First step is to select all your data. So I'm gonna select all these. Once you have the data collected, go over to insert menu option, and then either click on pivot table option. This will allow you to insert a pivot table or move your mouse over where you see pivot chart. Click on this arrow and go down to pivot chart and pivot table. This allows you to insert both pivot chart and pivot table. Not only you can see your data in a pivot table, but you can also get a corresponding chart that you can use in your presentations. We will use this option as I want to show you both of these in this example. So go ahead and click on this. In this window, you set the data that you want to use for pivot table. Since we already selected our data before clicking on that button, so it automatically puts that in here. If you hadn't selected the data, then you can use this arrow to pick the data you want. Next, you have to pick whether you want this pivot table to be in a new worksheet or an existing worksheet. I always prefer new worksheet. It makes it easy for you to see the data in the whole sheet rather than cramming everything in one sheet. So let's go ahead and pick new worksheet and click OK. Now you'll notice your worksheet being created where your pivot table and chart will reside. So this is the area where your pivot table is going to show up, and this is the area where your chart is going to show up. And then next to it is all the fields from the data that we selected. Remember, we had the campaign, source, medium, total cost, clicks, and cost per click. This is the area where all these columns will start to show up to build your pivot table. So let's say we want to summarize the data at the campaign level. In order to do that, Go ahead and click on campaign. When you pick that column, you'll notice the column starts to come up here. All the campaigns are listed. Remember in our previous worksheet, we had multiple rows for each of these campaigns. So let me go and show you that. It's right here. You can see multiple rows. But now we are summarizing at this level. So let's say we want to look at the total cost by campaign. In that case, we just pick total cost, and here we have a summary of total cost for each campaign. And along with that, we also have a nice chart that you can use in your presentations. This data also allows you to quickly see where we spent most of our money. Definitely, there are formatting things that you can play with and format this chart, but I'm not going to go through formatting the charts. I'm just showing you the functionality and how pivot tables work. Now let's say we want that data to be actually summarized by the source. Where are we spending all this money? Which source? In that case, go ahead and uncheck campaign and check source. 
Now you have the data by source. You can see we're spending more money on Google and Facebook and then very little on Bing. That's an analysis you can provide to your stakeholders. What if we want to look at not only total cost, but also cost per click? In that scenario, you'll go ahead and pick cost per click. And now that's added as well. Again, you can format this to show only two decimals or no decimals. I'm gonna move this chart here so it's easy to see in the view. If you want a drill down functionality in your rows, let's say if you want Y campaign and then drill down at source level, you can also do that in pivot tables. So go ahead and uncheck source, click on campaign and then click on source. Now you can see all these campaigns and then they are broken down by source. You have the breakdown here. You can easily collapse them by clicking on this minus sign and all of these rows are collapsed. You can go to several levels depending on what data you have. So you can even further go by the medium in here. And now you can see Facebook CPC, Google CPC, and fall you had Google was CPC and CPM. And you'll notice your chart also changes. Now I am going to go on this side and show you what all these sections mean. One, you have a filter. Let's say you only want to look at all the campaigns that ran on Google and how did they perform. In that scenario, you can use source as a filter. So go ahead and click on source and drag it down into filter. Now scroll up and you can see that a new control got created. This control allows you to filter your data by source. So you can pick up the value from this control. So I'm gonna click on this arrow and here are your options. Let's go ahead and pick Google because that's what you wanna filter by. You can even select multiple values if you want to filter by say Google and Facebook. You will have to check this option on as well. For now, we're just gonna pick Google and click OK. Here is your data that's filtered by Google. You can have multiple filters if you would like as you dropped source here. Similarly, you can drop other fields here as well to create multiple filters. So in case you wanna filter by source and medium, you drop medium here and now medium is added as well. Let's go ahead and undo it so I can show you other features as well. Next, you have the values in columns. What this means is your values are going to show up in different columns. That's all it's doing. If you take this value and drop it in rows, then all your values are going to start to show up in rows instead of columns. It's very hard to read in this format, but in certain cases, that might make sense. Let's go ahead and undo this as well. And the next you have is the data that you want to see in your rows. For now, we have campaign and medium. So you got campaign and medium. You can pick another column and drop it here as well. In order to do that, you will simply pick it up from here and drop it here. When you use a column that's already being used as a filter, for example, in this case, it'll remove it from the filter and put it right here. Now you get campaign, medium, and source data in your pivot table, but the filter is gone. If you wanna continue with the filter, you simply drag it back and you have your filter. Next, let's talk about this section here, values. This tells the pivot table, what mathematical computation do you want on your values, the metrics. In this case, we are doing sum of total cost and sum of CPC. So every row is going to show you sum of total cost and sum of CPC. When you drill down, that's the sum for CPC, that's the sum for CPM. And then this is the sum of these two. That's how it works. Every row sums it up and brings it to that level. Level above it shows the total of rows underneath it. So BOGO is showing row number five and six combination up here. Now, this makes sense in case of total cost because you can sum the cost up. However, it doesn't make sense to sum up the cost per click. In this case, you're paying $6.99 per click. And in this case, you're paying $28 per click. That doesn't make sense to sum them up to bring it to 728 
What you need in this scenario is the average. So in that case, go to sum of CPC, click on this arrow, and then click on value field settings, and that'll bring up a box where you can choose the type of computation that you want. In this case, we want average, so go ahead and pick it and click OK. If you ever have to remove a column from any of these, you can, you can click on the column and then drag it back and that will remove it. Or you can also uncheck from this list. So if I uncheck campaign, it's gone. I'm going to undo again to keep my pivot table intact. I hope this clarified how pivot tables work. There is a lot to learn. I cannot cover every single scenario in this lecture. So my suggestion to you is go ahead and start playing with the pivot tables. The more you practice, the better you will become.